Hello, my name is Daniel Selman. I'm, I'm going to show you the Cognitive Call Center demo that I've built. Uh, this is a demo that shows IBM Operational Decision Manager uh, Decision Server Insights integrated with uh, some Watson Cognitive Services. So what you're seeing here is kind of the mocked up end user interface. Um, it allows you to purchase some products but also interact with the, the company either through placing a, a voice call or by sending text messages. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of identify myself to the to the website you know, some sort of simple login process. Um, call myself Peter and um, I also have open here uh, the alerts dashboard which is kind of a mocked up UI that might be used by a, you know a call center rep, um, you know that's monitoring this customer interaction, and I also have a a real time map display that shows me where all my customers are geographically, uh, but also their sentiment. So if they're grey, they're kind of neutral. If they're green, they're happy, and if they're red, they're unhappy. Um, I'm in Spain at the moment in Madrid. Um, so we should see Peter show up, um, you know, somewhere around this area. So, uh, you know, first of all, I'm just going to simply purchase a product, and that's going to generate an event which gets sent to Decision Server Insights, and uh, Decision Server Insights basically just uh, acknowledges the uh, the purchase and sends back an alert. And what we should see is that that alert gets sent to the alert dashboard, and you know, as a bit of fun, the alert dashboard is using the uh, text-to-speech service from Watson, and we'll 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 read the text of the alert. So let's do that. I'm going to purchase this Sony camera. Peter has just purchased Sony DSCW800 digital compact camera for $56.99. So I hope you heard that in the recording, um, but you know, we've, we've just shown that round trip basically. This is a, the front end is a Node.js application running on Bluemix, um, and it's uh, posted uh, an XML event into Decision Server Insights, which is running um, on a virtual machine on Bluemix. And when uh, Decision Server Insights received that event, um, it, it simply sort of echoed back a, uh, uh, an acknowledgement that the, the purchase had been received. But now we've, we've received an event for Peter, um, you know, we're, we're tracking him. And uh, through the, uh, you know, the location APIs in the browser, we know where Peter is, you know, he's in, uh, he's in Madrid. And if I click on him, we can see that We've we've kind of associated a, a some sort of happiness score with Peter, and because he's just bought a, pro a product, his happiness score has been incremented from from zero to twenty. Um, so let's let's try purchasing um, a more expensive product. So let's now we're going to buy this TV. Peter, we would like to thank you for your business. Please accept this coupon for fifty dollars. So now we get a slightly different alert. Actually, two alerts were generated. First, the uh, you know simple acknowledgement that we purchased the TV was was generated, and then we we got a, a reward, a coupon, because um, we've spent um, you know over uh, a certain threshold within a certain time window. Uh, Decision Server Insights is tracking that, and um, you know we're going to receive this this fifty dollar coupon. Um, if we go back to the map display, we can see that Peter's no longer grey, uh, they've turned green. Because we made another purchase, this, this, this happiness score has, has, uh, has gone up. So, you know, all very, all very well and good. So now we're going to start interacting with the company through, through other channels. So first of all, um, let's, let's send them a, a text message. So imagine there was a a problem with the TV that we just received. Um, so Peter sends sends a text message to the company. 
either through a web form or through an email, uh, you know, some sort of text-based uh, communication channel. So uh, Peter's going to say, um, you know, uh, the TV arrived three weeks late, and it was not the TV that I ordered on your website. I would like to complain about the service I have received and get a full refund. I will not be recommending your site to my friends as your service sucks. Not the most constructive mechanism uh, message, but you know you, you get the idea. He's he's not happy. So I'm going to send press on the send button. Peter is talking about a TV. Try to cross sell TV repair insurance. The transcript is the TV arrived three weeks late, and it was not the TV that I ordered on your website. I would like to complain about the service I have received and get a full refund. I will not be recommending your site to my friends as your service sucks. So this is this this text message has triggered um, a different rule, and you know this rule in, in this case is pretty simplistic. It's just looking for you know the occurrence of TV, and um, if we receive a message with TV in it, we you know we prompt the the agent to potentially cross sell TV repair insurance, which is probably not the the optimal strategy in this case. Um, the the happiness score has 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 not gone down, so we've not you know that that message is not sufficiently negative that um, we've impacted the uh, the the happiness score of Peter. So let's send a, a second message, which is pretty negative. In uh, I still have not uh, received my refund you suck Peter is very unhappy so you know well now the the text message has, has been sent to uh, decision server insights decision server insights has sent the text to the Watson Watson sentiment analysis service and Watson has told us that this is a you know that the sentiment of this of this piece of text, this statement, is very negative, and that has now triggered um, you know an alert, a notification that Peter is very unhappy. And if I go back to the map, you see Peter is no longer green anymore. Um, his score has dropped back down to twenty, and we can see the the transcript you know of the last message that we that we sent. Um, you know now you know the the situation may be escalating. Peter uh, needs to place a call to the company, and you know and that's where things start to get very fun. Because what we're going to do is is we're going to stream the audio from the web browser in real time um, to uh, the Watson speech to text service. So Watson was going to uh, convert the the audio stream into a text stream. And then we're going to pipe that text stream into Insights, where where it sentiment analysis will run, and we have a whole you know range of rules that, that that can kick in. So I'm going to start the conversation. Um, hello, yes, I would like to phone. Uh, I'm phoning you to complain about the television that I ordered. Um, it arrived three weeks late, and it was the wrong TV. And when I turned it on. Um, you know, there was a big black band across the center of the TV where all the pixels were broken. So I'm, I, you know, I'm really unhappy with your service. Peter is very unhappy. So I hope you heard that. Um, we triggered the, uh, the very unhappy uh, sentiment detection um, alert, you know, in the middle of the conversation while we were speaking. So, you know, we were streaming the... Uh, the audio that I was speaking live to Watson, 
and running real-time sentiment analysis um, and interpreting interpreting that sentiment using um, decision server insights. So now let's if I if I go back to the the web page at the bottom here, we can see the uh, the results of the um, speech to text that that Watson that Watson performed. It's not perfect, um, you know, based on ambient noise and and accents and you know my <laughs> my bad diction. Uh, Watson will make mistakes, but it does a surprisingly good job actually at, at, at you know pulling out the sentiment of of what it is that I'm saying. Um, so let's let's have another conversation. Uh, you know, I'm calling them back. This is all building up you know, the profile of Peter that Decision Server Insights is you know is tracking. Uh, Decision Server Insights knows how many times Peter's called. It knows the products he's purchased. It knows the sentiment of the statements that he's that he's made through his different interactions across different channels. You know the the message channel and the voice channel. So Peter's now going to ring back. Peter has called 2.0 times in the past month. Their happiness score is zero. Peter is very unhappy. Hello, yes, it's Peter here again. I called you about an hour ago and one of your reps said that they were going to phone me back about returning a television that I'd purchased. Peter is very unhappy. And it still hasn't happened. You know, I'm having to call you back again and all I want to do is return this defective product. Peter is product very unhappy. That, that, you've, that you've sent me. And, um, you know, this is just totally unacceptable. Um, I demand my money back and um, you're going to have to come and pick this TV up because... You know, I've had enough of this. Um, your your site is just, uh, you know, it sucks. I, there's no other way of putting it. And there's no way I could recommend your service to, to any of my friends. Um, so, you know, as a result of that rather <laughs> heated exchange, you can see we've, we've tripped the, the unhappy notification. Peter is very unhappy multiple times and you know Peter is now firmly in the red as a customer his happiness score is down at minus 80 and you know and we've 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 got the text of that last call that he just placed placed and again it's not perfect but you I hope you heard that you know we pretty accurately tripped the uh, the unhappiness uh, rule um, you know through that through that interaction I, you know, just for fun, I want to show you some of the other um, some some of the other rules we've coded. In fact, there's only uh, about a dozen rules on the back end. Um, you know, the log the business logic itself in this application is, you know, you it took you know a couple of hours to put together. Um, it's it's very straightforward from a from an insights point of view. Hello, yes, it's Peter. Peter has called 3.0 times in the past month. Their happiness score is 80. Hello, yes, it's Peter here. Um, uh, I'm thinking of buying a, a Bose speaker um, for, you know, for my living room. Peter is talking about a speaker. Notify the customer we have 25% off a second speaker purchase today. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the, the second speaker offer sounds perfect. You know, I want one for my, for my living room and you know, one for the kitchen. Um, but I still have this outstanding issue with the television. Could I speak to a manager, please? Yeah, I really. Need Peter is requesting a manager. The transcript is "Hello, yes, it's paid all through." Um, the, the other thing I've been looking at is uh, cameras. You know, do, do you have any um, offers on cameras at the moment? Peter is talking about a camera. Tried to cross sell photo printing. Uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, today it's a whole different company. It's been a it's been a wonderful experience. You know, I I just love the service that you provide, and I'm glad that you were able to put the situation right um, with the TV. And you know, I appreciated the refund that Peter that is talking about a TV. Try. So what you can see is after those, uh, you know, the positive call that I just placed the happiness score has now gone up to minus 20. So we've still got a long way to go, but um, you know, it was minus 80 and 
you know, clearly things are, you know, things are on the mend. And, uh, you know, I could make things even better by, you know, purchasing a, a couple of products, of course. Peter has just purchased Sony. Peter has just purchased Bose SoundLink Bluetooth Speaker 3 for $249.95. And, you know, if I go back to the map, yep, we're, you know, we're back in the, the gray zone with a, a positive happiness score of 20. So I hope that shows you, you know, some of the cool applications you can build, um, you know, on the Bluemix platform using Watson Cognitive Services, but wrapping them in business policy, which you'd automate using Decision Server Insights. Thank you very much.